You can have your towel and your Pilates ball available. If you do have a Pilates ball, your towel is perfect or a small throw pillow. And place those to the side. We'll get started standing. Step your feet right underneath your hips, about two fist distance apart, the space of your hip bones. Give yourself a nice shoulder roll. Inhale as your shoulders come up. Exhale, press them down your back. Inhale, shoulders come up. Exhale, big release down your back. One more. Inhale, and sweep up to the sky. Take your right wrist into your left hand. Give yourself a big tug over to the left. Push your right hip out to the right. Inhale, come to center. Take your left wrist into your right hand. Exhale, big pull over to the right, pushing your left hip out to the left. Inhale, come to center. Release your hands. Take your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers and press your shoulders back. If you have a shoulder sensitivity, stay with your hands apart. Press your shoulders back. Bring your chin into your chest. Draw your right ear over to your right shoulder, pressing your left shoulder down and away from you, and slightly look up to the sky. Exhale, chin comes towards your chest. Let your left ear go over to your left shoulder. Press your right shoulder down and away from you. Inhale. Exhale, release. Chin comes back to center. Soften your knees, hinge from your hips, and fold forward. Once you find a comfortable fold, you can try pushing your arms towards the sky, but you have to release your neck fully in order for this to feel safe. Now release your hands towards your hips. Let your hands release towards your ankle. Take an inhale. As you exhale, roll one vertebrae up at a time. At the very top, shoulders roll back, your chin goes parallel to the floor. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Let your knuckles come together. As you exhale, Pilates dive forward. One vertebrae at a time. Like you're diving into an ice cold pool. Release your neck, soften your knees. Hinge deeper from your hips, letting the backs of your legs open your hamstrings and your glutes. Give your knees another big bend. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Shoulders roll back. Let's take a wider stance, our second position. Toes out, 11 and 1. Bend your knees. You have your mat long ways. It's, it's your feet are wider than your mat. Encourage your hips to open by pressing out against your thighs and bend your knees a lot. Open your heart. Inhale. As you exhale, round your spine, hollow it through your navel, posterior tilt of the hips. Inhale, belly drops down, heart opens, lift your gaze, and as you exhale, round your spine. Take three of these to your own breath. Make this feel really awesome. Um, I just noticed that I didn't mute you, so I'm going to mute everyone so we don't get feedback. And these are your cat cows. Inhale in. Exhale, round, press out. One more deep inhale, lift your heart. As you exhale, let your hands drape towards the ground. Straighten your legs and roll up. Shoulders roll back at the top. Let's take your hands to your heart. Bend your knees. Knees stay on top of your ankles. Push your hips down and back. Stand up and press your arms back at the top. Good. Lower down for two. Exhale, press up for two. If at any point this bothers your knees, you can come into your chair squat, taking your feet parallel. Lower down and lift up. In through the nose and out of the mouth. If you're using your yoga breath, you can stay in through the nose, out of the nose. But your Pilates breath is deep inhale through your nose. Full exhale out your mouth. So that's a forced exhale, releasing all of that stuff you don't need. If you have music at home, you can turn up the music. 
If you don't have music, that's okay too. You can let your breath drive you. And if you have knee sensitivity, you can always just stay here with the arms, work your upper body. But if your knees are okay with this squat, drop it like a squat, go just to the point of resistance and back up. We don't wanna to go too low. And maybe you speed it up just a hair. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Breathe in, exhale out. In through the nose, out of the mouth. Keep on going. I'm going to lower the screen so you can see my feet just a little bit more. Hold down on one. Bend your knees. Check out that your knees are right on top of the ankles. Push your hips down and back, get lower. Lift your left heel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn towards your right. Bend your right knee over the ankle. You want to be a straight line from the top of your head. Out your left hip, left heel. You can't see your body, but feel that line in your mind's eye. Bend your right knee a little bit more and then scoot the left toes back even deeper. Sweep up towards the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, lean forward, press deep into your right heel. Hands come down towards the hips, draw a big Pilates arm circle, maybe reach the shoulders back on top of the hips. And as you exhale, dig deep into your right heel, lean forward. Hands come back towards the hips, out and around, up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Press deep into your right heel. And you want to imagine that you're going to break the ground underneath your right heel. Come up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And inhale, inhale, inhale. I'm nearing you. Exhale, hands to your heart. You press into your right heel. So your torso is slightly shifting back and then coming into the incline line. The legs aren't moving at all. You have three like this. Your right glute should feel like it's on fire. Two. And hold. Okay, you're firm and your left leg is straight. Keep on bending your right knee over the ankle. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn your left ribs towards the right thigh. Little twist, untwist. Little twist, untwist. Now less is more. Stay in the incline, lean into that right heel. Your right glute is burning, it should be screaming. We have five, four, three, two, and hold that twist. Look past your right shoulder if possible for four seconds, three, two, and one. Release your twist, sweep up to the sky, find your breath. Exhale, hands to your heart, lean slightly forward, take an inhale. As you exhale, turn to your left, coming back to where we started. Bring your toes out again, 11 and one. Bend your knees, hips go down and back. This should feel nice to flush out. Come into your tricep presses. Lower, tricep press out. Now it's like, Someone's taking your picture. You don't want that picture to be blurry. So I'm gonna slight pause at the bottom, slight pause at the top. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Now I can start to feel that heat. So I'm sure you're feeling it at home. That's awesome. Your right side should be way, way warmed up. But don't you worry. We're gonna get into your left side too. Five, four, three, two, 
And last one, let's hold that squat, catch your breath. Lift your right heel, inhale. As you exhale, slow turn towards the left. Bend your front knee, your left knee over the ankle. Straighten the right leg, and you're at a slight incline, right? Head, hip, and heel, that's your line. Now hands come back towards your hips. Reach your hands up to the sky. Shift your shoulders back onto your hips. Hands to your heart, lean into your left heel. Good, hold that knee there as you reach your hands back. Shift your shoulders back on top of your hips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Blow it out. Inhale through the nose, lift up. Exhale, deep exhale at the mouth. Awesome. Keep on working here. You want your left glute to burn just as much as your right side did. So take your time. Less is more. We have three. Three. Two. And hold on the one. That's it. Now pull the right ribs over to the left and it's just one to two inches. It's really small. The whole time you're hugging that left glute into midline. Don't let the left glute move. We have five, four, into the nose, out of the mouth. Remember, full exhale, three, two, and one. Hold your twist, look past your left shoulder a little bit. Stay in that burn for five seconds, four, three, two, and slow release. Sweep your hands back, up to the sky, to your heart, lean forward, and now we get to turn back to where we started. Toes out 11 and one, bend your knees for two, reach up to the sky. Lower and reach, lower and lift. If any of you have shoulder sensitivity, don't bring your hands up to the sky. You can reach right out in front of your shoulders. And I'm gonna turn, turn to the side so you can see that my knees are safely staying on top of my ankles. I'm sitting my hips down and back. Like I'm gonna sit into a little baby chair behind me. Sitting down. Five. Four. Three, two, and hold down one. Take your time here. Tailbone in neutral, no tucking, core's engaged. Let's lift our heels, 10 second hold. You can do this for 10 seconds. Chin off the chest, stay tall. Nine, find your shakes, bend your knees a little bit more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, bring your hands down to the ground. Fingers are spread. Step your left foot back, right foot back. Find your plank. In your plank, this is the top of your warm up. Okay. If you need to put your knees down, go ahead, put the knees down, but push your hips slightly forward, shoulders back, so that your core is engaged. Otherwise, stay on the toes. Soften your elbows, find your shakes. You can also soften your knees, find your shakes there. And we're breathing. I'm gonna put my knees down today. Put my core still engaged. If you want a little bit more, soften the elbows. Chin off your chest, think of that long line again. From the top of your head, through your hips, at the heels, okay? Engage your core. Every time you exhale, pull your belly in towards your spine. We have 10 more seconds. For my last 10, I'm gonna lift my knees up and soften my joints, my elbows and my knees. Get into those shakes. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push your hips up and back. Find your downward facing dog. Slow your breath down, especially while you're in an inversion. If you get vertigo or have low blood pressure, or you have a special case where you know you're not supposed to be upside down, don't go upside down, right? You can always take child's pose. 
but take your feet as wide as your mat, push your hips up and back. Now lift your heels up high, inhale, exhale, bend your right knee, draw your left toe towards the ground, so you're stretching out through that side of your body. And lift your heels up high, and then slowly switch. It's called a prance. So we're lifting your heels up high, and then draw one heel down as we bend the opposite knee. Lift your heels up high, and switch. You can also take your head left to right, right to left, two, two, one, and one. Really nice. So lift your heels, bend your knees, bring your knees down to the mat. Take your knees as wide as the mat. Big toes come towards each other. They kind of kiss, and I'll, I'll say that a lot. I like to say toes kiss. Now slowly push your hips down and back. Walk your hands over to the right. Take your left hand on top of your right hand and push your hips down to the left. Let your forehead relax onto the mat. Two deep breaths, huge breaths. It should feel like a whole side body stretch. In through the arm, out through the hip. Now walk your hands to the left. Take your right hand on top of your left and exhale, push your hips down into the right. Relax your forehead. One more huge breath here. Good, inhale, come to center. Bring your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Press your shoulders away from your ears. Extend your right leg out. Point your right toes and draw just a tiny circle without moving your hips, without moving the knee. Keep your right hip closed and it's a tiny circle pause. Tiny circle pause, tiny circle pause. And it's like you're tracing the side of the dime. It's really small. If you have wrist sensitivity, Please feel free to bring your forearms down. Tiny circle and tiny circle. Your left glute is keeping you in the pose the whole time. Your core is keeping you in the pose. And breathe here. Draw those tiny circles. Work your right glute and also your left glute. Keep on going. Tiny circle pause. Tiny circle pause. Try keeping the legs straight. I'm going to move you a little closer towards me. Tiny circle pause. Tiny circle pause. Tiny circle. Tiny circle. Five. Four. Three. Two. And switch direction. Tiny circle pause. This is one of those things that's all about you, right? That we don't get to do that that often, making a practice all about us and our breath and our body. Allow your mind to release from everything else. So yes, your left glute is starting to cramp. Ignore it. Keep on going through that right side. We have five more like this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your right knee, bring your right knee towards your right elbow without rounding through your spine. Your back and spine staying neutral, long and straight. Reach the right leg out for two. Inhale, exhale, right knee towards the right elbow without rounding the spine. Reach out for two, exhale, slowly bring it in for two. Find your Pilates control, less is more, slower is harder. Inhale as you reach out. Exhale, big exhale the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Deep release. We have four like this. Four. Three. Two. And hold out of one, stay right there. 
flex the right foot and little lift, little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay there in that flex. Take your left hand out, find your long line, turn your left thumb towards the sky, five seconds. Four, three, two, bring your left hand down, right knee comes down. Take your knees as wide as you mat, big toes come together, take your well-deserved stretch back into your child's pose. Walk your hands over to the right, take your left hand on top of your right, push your hips down to the left. Walk your hands over to the left, take your right hand on top of your left, push your hips down to the right. Walk your hands to center. And I'm gonna turn around so that my neck doesn't get overstretched on one side. If you need to turn around too, if you're looking at me, you can. Let's extend your left leg. Point your left toes, keep the left hip closed. Try not to let your belly dive towards the ground. Stay right there, do those tiny circles. Remember, at any point you can bring your forearms down. Tiny circle, tiny circle. Don't think happy thoughts. Retract the shoulders. And then about three out of five of us hyperextend, we go over straight. I hyperextend in my elbows. I always have to check back in and tell myself, put a little bend in my elbows. Um, if you hyperextend, you have to put a little bend in your elbows too. You'll notice that I like, ooh, like a little like gumby in the arms. <laughs> I try not to do that. Five, four, three, Two and switch directions. Tiny circle. Tiny circle. Tiny circle pause. Tiny circle pause. We have eight like this. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull your left knee to your left elbow for two. Reach out for two. Left knee, left elbow for two. Reach out for two. Now, a lot of times we want to go through cat and cow. Don't go through cat and cow. Just stay in the long spine. Exhale, knee to elbow. Your right glute should feel it now. Keep the left toes pointed. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach your left leg out, flex the foot, little lift, little lift. Little lift, little lift, you're almost there. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and hold here. Reach your right hand out. Lift your left heel higher. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your right hand down. Knees go as wide as the mat. Big toes come to touch. Take your child's pose. Now slide your right knee forward between your hands. Bring your right ankle towards your left wrist. Take a nice pigeon pose. 80% of us won't be able to bring the right glute down. You can grab your ball or your pillow. Take it underneath your right glute. Inhale as you lift your heart. Exhale, bring yourself down. Let's 
Now I'm resting on my forearms. You might be able to stack your hands at home and rest your forehead on your hands. Let's lift your heart, release your prop if you're using it. Slide your right knee back, bring your left knee forward. Left ankle towards your right wrist. Scoot the right knee back, grab your prop, place it underneath your left glute. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale, find your stretch. Again, you can come onto your forearms or you can stack your hands underneath your head. There should not feel any discomfort. You should not feel any pain here. If you feel any pain, find your figure four in your back. The deeper you breathe, the more you can let go. Good. Lift your heart. Release your prop if you're sitting on it. Slide back the left knee. Now let's shift forward. Look at the eye of your elbows. We want to externally rotate the eye of the elbow forward. Spread your fingers. Your pointer finger is the one that gauges if you're straight. It should be parallel with your pointer finger and the other hand. Turn your eye of the elbow forward. Retract your shoulders. Bend the elbows by the side of your body. Knees can stay down. Let's do eight push-ups here, tricep push-ups. If you want, you can lift your knees. Eight, seven, elbows in by the sides of your body. They should touch your shirt. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push your hips down and back into a child's pose. Really nice. Come back into your tabletop. Let's do your chest expansion push-up. Hands go wider than your mat. The eye of the elbow turns in, and you'll bend your elbows 90 degrees out to the side. So if you don't have a mat, just imagine that space. Go wider than your mat, but your hips push slightly forward, but the hips stay in alignment with your abs. Bend the elbows out to the side. <sighs> Chest expansion. When we bend the elbows, we're coming down 90 degrees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push your hips down and back. Take your child's pose. Slide your hands back and sit onto your, your heels. This is hero's pose. If it's uncomfortable for your knees, you can sit a different way. You can even practice a variation standing. Take a breath here. You can also curl your toes under. Curling your toes under will give you about three inches of length. And it might help you, right? Especially doing this with your toes uncurled is too intense. Now we're gonna lift up into our thigh stretch. So come onto the knees. If you have sensitive knees, you can place a towel underneath the knees. Keep your spine straight. We're hinging from the hips. So we're gonna tap down onto the heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap down onto the heels. Now reach your hands in front of you as you lift up. Palms turn up. As you come down, press your palms down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press down. Good. Keep on working this. For those of you that are like, this doesn't work for my body, you can come into a squat. Lower down, chair squat, lift up. Lower down, chair squat, lift up. I'm gonna keep on doing thigh stretch with you. Lift. And exhale, blow it out. In through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Four like this. We're almost there. Four. Three. Two. And one, lift into your thigh stretch. Keep your hips in extension, keep them open. As you lean back, arms reach out and then pull back on top of your knees. Inhale, 
Exhale, lean back just a little bit. Exhale, hunt up the knees. Back up. Exhale, go back. Inhale. Five. Four, keep those hips open. Three, two, and one. Come back up. Take your arms up to the sky. Hands come down towards your hips. Again, reach your hands in front of your shoulders. Up to the sky. Exhale down towards your hips. One more time like that. Reach out for two. Up to the sky. Exhale down and around. Now hold down, lean back into the thigh stretch, hold the thigh stretch, hips are open, then try those arm circles. Reach up, go out and around, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, come back up. Sit onto your heels, undulate through your spine, rounding through posterior tilt, and then Pulling your tailbone out, coming into your anterior, exaggerated anterior tilt, and then tucking again. It's like a baby cat cow. We're moving through anterior, then we're going through neutral, and then when you push out, it's posterior. And let these rocks get smaller and smaller till you're not moving, and you're finding your natural neutral spine, the spine that you walk with. So I would say that three blocks, let them get smaller and smaller, and then you should find your perfect neutral. Reach your hands forward, come into your child's pose. Thigh stretch can pull on your back a lot, so let's release it. Inhale, let's round into our tabletop. Shift forward, come down into prone, onto your navel. Roll onto your right hip, and line up your body with the back edge of your mat. Also your shoulders with the back edge of your mat. Now take your feet to the front corner of your mat at a slight angle. You can come down, taking your right hand to your head, right, and cup the ear, but they say to suck through your armpit like you're making a little mass house so your core can still be engaged. Take your left foot up, and exhale, slowly bring it back down. Now point the left toes without opening up the hip. So if you find that your left hip is starting to open and you're rolling back, you've gone too far. Little open, little close. Now, engage your core. Your left hand can be in front of you to stabilize you. You can also bend your right knee to stabilize you. There's lots of options. Five, four, take whatever option works best for you. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now, externally rotate from your left hip, bringing your left toes to the sky just slightly without leaning. This will make space in your hip for your femur to move. Turning the left toes up towards the sky slightly. Open up the space, right? And maybe your extension is less than mine, but I want you to notice how your body moves and where you can move, as opposed for the leg and the hip to be parallel. Now we're opening it, we're creating more space in our body, and it should be tough to lift. Four, try not to kick. Three, slower is harder, breathe. Two, and one. Okay, now bend your left knee forward in front of you. Reach your left leg out, flex the foot, brush the leg behind you, like somebody standing behind you. I have to scoot forward a little bit. Someone standing behind you, you're trying to kick them down. 
then your left knee, like you're wrapping the leg around them. Now bring your left knee forward, reach it out for two, press back for two, bend the knee for two. Try not to move your upper body at all. Reach and press and bend. Let's add the articulation. Point the toes, you reach up, flex the foot, press it back, bend the knee. Point the toe, reach up, flex, bend the knee. Three this way. I know this is a tough set. Sitting up. Shower. Well, he lasted for half of it. That's not bad. <laughs> okay, let's switch directions. Bend the knee, press the heel behind you, reach the leg long, take the leg out in front of you, bend, go behind you, reach the leg long, bring it in front of you. Bend, take the leg behind you, reach the leg long, reach up. Bend, reach, reach back out, bend, take the heel back, reach, and come back. We have two more, bend, and reach. One more, and hold. Now parallel your feet, taking your feet back kind of behind you where your hips are, but not too far back and a little lift of both legs. Heels together, lift both legs, work those left obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold your heels up, five seconds. Maybe your left hand can come by the side of your body, four seconds, maybe you reach the right arm out, three, and lift the upper body, two, full banana, and one, relax. Awesome. Push yourself up into a seated position. Extend your legs and roll through your hips, massaging here. Going a little to the right, a little to the left. Of course, your left side needs it. More. Good. Now, extend your legs out. Scoot your body back in alignment with your mat, your shoulders and your hips. Bring your feet slightly forward. Now we're on the left side. The right side is gonna be working. You can come down, cup the ear, suck your armpit away from the floor, dome it away from the floor. Right hand can come in front of you. Good, let's start with a pointed toe in parallel. If it helps to touch your hips, touch them. Make sure you're not opening up that right hip. Good, lift and lower. Now this one should not be as big as the external rotation. When we add that external rotation, we can open the hip a little bit more. We create more space in the body. This one is parallel and closed. Keep on going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn your right toes towards the sky as you open the leg up without rolling back and bring the right leg back down. At the very bottom, the foot can go back to parallel because that's normal and natural in your body. But as you lift, start to turn the right toes up towards the sky and come back down without kicking. And lower down. And exhale. Inhale as you lower. And exhale. Inhale as you lower. Beautiful. We don't have that many here, just a little bit. Try not to roll back. Five. Four. Three, two, 
and one. Awesome, you guys. Okay, now let's go for that bicycle. Bend your knee in front of you. Reach the leg out. Then scrape the heel, push it back. Wrap your heel around that person that's standing behind you like you're going to kick them. Now bring the knee forward. Reach the leg out. Scrape it back. And for me, my mind like always gets distracted by the pose itself is very hard. So when I try to add on articulation, I kind of you know fumble here and there. But let's try to add on that articulation. Point the toe, reach the toe out, flex the foot, bring the heel back. Bend the knee, point the toe, reach the toe out, flex the foot, bring it back, brush back. Bend the knee, wrapping around that person. Point the toe, reach it out, flex and brush back. Three like this. The whole time too, you are keeping that right leg away from the left leg. You're not letting the left leg and the right leg touch. So the right leg kind of stays in the air. And imagine that you're drawing a line with that right heel down. You don't want the line to be squiggly, right? Three. Two. And one. Let's bring the leg out in front of us. Bend the knee. Press back. And then straighten the leg. Brush forward. Bend the knee. Press the heel back. Then straighten the leg. We switch directions on our true bicycles. I don't often teach this one in class because it can be so hard to achieve. But why not? You showed up today and imagine that you were the pros because you're still here with me. Yeah. Three, two, And last one, brush it forward, bend the knee, push it back. Awesome, hold right there. Now line up the heels with the rest of your body. Lift both of the heels, little lift, little lift, little lift. This is a variation of your banana. Your right obliques are turning on, right? And those are the outside ones, you can even touch them, feel them. I have to dig a little bit to feel them. We got five, four, three, two, and hold. Try to bring your right hand towards your right thigh, reaching the left hand out, maybe even lifting the upper body. Full banana, stay on that left hip for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release, come into supine, laying on your back. Let your knees drip to the right and drip to the left. Take your time here. Two, two, one, and one. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll up. If you have scoliosis or vertigo, low blood pressure, any of those special cases, and rolling doesn't feel good to you, I'm going to teach everyone variation one. Hands around your shins, lift your feet, and place them down. Lift up, place them down. You're finding your center of balance, you're feeling your core contract, and then you're placing your feet back down. All right? That seems like it can be tough enough. If you're ready for the full variation without kicking your legs, you're gonna roll onto your shoulders, not your neck, and then roll back up and hold without your feet touching the ground. Roll back, roll up and hold. Inhale as you roll back, exhale, roll up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, let's come up. 
Pull your knees in. Reach your body back. Also extend your legs as you exhale. Pull your knees towards your heart. Bend your elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold on one. Extend your legs. Maybe reach your hands up. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two and one. Roll back. Knees go to the right, knees go to the left. A little side to side. Okay, awesome. Let's take your right leg up to the sky. Draw your hands around the right shin or right thigh, and then walk your hands up the thigh. Draw your head towards your shin. Now, bend the elbows, bring the leg towards you. One, two, three. Slide your hands down the right thigh. Flex the foot, bring the foot down, bring your head down. Point the toe, lift the leg up, flex the foot, bring it down. Three, flex and bring it down. Two, point, flex and bring it down. And one, point, hold that point. Walk your hands up your tree and bend the elbows. Three, exhale, two, exhale, one. Slide your hands down, slowly release your core contraction, bring your head down. Flex the foot and bring it down. Now point the toe, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. Three, two, and one. Point the toe, lift it up. Slide your hands and climb your tree using your abs. Now bend the elbows. Exhale, three, two, and one. Pull the leg towards you as you slide your hands down your thigh, releasing your shoulders, neck, and head. Bend the knee. Hinge your right ankle just above your left knee. Hands come down by the side of your body. Encourage your right knee to open up and lift your hips, tucking your pelvis. Roll back down. And lift and roll down. Let's go for eight like this. Keep the right ankle flexed the whole time. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hold the lift. Try not to walk left to right at a little pulse, a little lift. Option for your hands to come up to the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold here. Take your right leg up to the sky, point the toes. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Hold there. And now a little pulse, a little pulse, a little pulse. Kind of exactly where we were, but a little faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lift up at your highest point. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Roll down, bring the right leg down, windshield wipers. Awesome. Extend your left leg up. Take your hands around your tree, slide your hands up the tree, lift through your core, bend the elbows, three, two, one. Slide your hands down your tree, roll your shoulders back, Flex the foot, bend the knee. Point the toe, lift it up. Flex the foot, bend the knee. Good. Three, two, and one. Hold the point. Walk your hands up your tree. Bend your elbows. Three, two, and one. Slide your hands down, slowly releasing your abs. Flex the foot, bring it down. Point and lift. Three, two, and one. Slide your hands up. And three, bend the elbows, two, bend the elbows, and one. Slide your hands down. And last time here, point and lift, flex and bend. Three, two, and one. Reach up, climb the tree, and three, two, and one. Roll back, bend your left knee, bring your left ankle just above your right knee. Flex the left foot so it's unbreakable. Hands come down by the side of your body. Encourage the left knee to open. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. 
Inhale, exhale, roll down. And these are big where you're coming down to the ground, tapping the mat, and then coming back up. And for the other variations, we're gonna stay in the air. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, stay right here. Down one inch and up one inch. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Stay right there. Now let's take that leg up to the sky. A little lower, a little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Last set. Little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold for three. Lift higher, two, and slowly roll down. Wouldn't show my first. All right, right foot goes into your right hand, left foot into the left hand, happy baby. Pull your knees to the outside of your armpits, encourage your hips to open a lot. Good, draw the soles of your feet together, knees go out. And release your knees. Rock a few times front to back. All the way up. Let's take our feet wide. Take your right hand down your right shin. Reach your left hand up and over. And now take your left hand back up towards the sky. Exhale, right the left hand comes up and over. Good. Let's do three like this. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, biggest fold opening through your left ribs. Lift up and turn towards your right shin, fold towards it. Slide your hands back, take your right, right left hand on your left shin, right hand comes up, and exhale, reach over. Inhale as you re-step. Exhale, reach over. Three. Two. And one, find your deepest lateral stretch. Good. Inhale, lift, turn towards your left shin and fold. Good. Slide your hands back, take your hands towards center. Inhale with a straight spine. Exhale, bend your elbows, pull your heart towards the ground. You can walk your hands forward even more. Walk your hands back. Bend your knees. Reach to the side, come back into your tabletop. Inhale, belly comes down. Exhale, round your spine. Find a few cat cows here. Three. Two, and one, curl your toes under, push your hips up and back, downward dog, pedal out, massage out any way you'd like. Step your feet to meet your hands, inhale, exhale, roll all the way up. Shoulders go back to the top, inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Exhale, Pilates dive forward. Hands go first, chin goes towards your chest. Roll through. Soften your knees at the bottom, part your hands. Inhale, let your hands stay down as you roll back up, restacking. Shoulders go back, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's take one more grateful breath together. 
Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank you for practicing with yourself today and actually showing up. Namaste.